It is um, really good to see you on Monday morning. Um, what are we on Monday the 28th of November? I hope all is well and um, I hope that um, you had a good weekend. Maybe you joined us for worship yesterday um, and one of our churches or maybe not. Um, either way, um, we meet for morning today very much uh, mindful of all the things we have to pray for uh, both in our in our churches in our wider community and uh, in our uh, world um, today we're not uh, or are we no we're not commemorating or remembering um, anyone anything in particular it's the it's advent now when yesterday was the first sunday of advent i know our advent calendars don't usually uh, or don't kick in until the first of december but uh, the season of Advent is officially upon us as of yesterday, uh, so uh, we um, begin in this Advent season. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion the dawn from on high is breaking upon us, to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. We offer Psalm 50. The Lord, the most mighty God, has spoken and called the world from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not keep silence. Consuming fire goes out before him and a mighty tempest stirs about him. He calls the heaven above and the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me my faithful who have sealed my covenant with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness for God himself is judge. Hear my people and I will speak. I will testify against you, O Israel, for I am God your God. I will not reprove you for your sacrifices, for your burnt offerings are always before me. I will take no bull out of your house, nor he goat out of your folds, for all the beasts of the forest are mine, the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know every bird of the mountains and the insect of the field is mine. If I were hungry I would not tell you, for the whole world is mine and all that fills it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and fulfil your vows to God Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall honour me. But to the wicked, says God, why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips, since you refuse to be disciplined and have cast my words behind you? When you saw a thief, you made friends with him and you threw in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to deceit. You sit and speak evil of your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things have you done, and should I keep silence? Did you think that even I, that I am even such a one as yourself? But no, I must reprove you and set before your eyes the things that you have done. You that forget God, consider this well, lest I tear you apart and there is none to deliver you. Whoever offers me this, the sacrifice of thanksgiving honours me, and to those who keep my way will I show the salvation of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 19. After this I heard what seemed to be the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven, saying, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power to our God, for his judgments are true and just. 
He has judged the great whore who corrupted the earth for her forni with her fornication, and he has avenged on her the blood of his servants. Once more they said, Hallelujah, the smoke goes up from her for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who is seated on the throne, saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And from the throne came a voice, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, and all who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of many mighty thunder peals, crying out, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. To her it has been granted to be clothed with fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your comrades, who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Then I saw heaven opened, and there was a white horse. Its rider is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems and he has a name inscribed that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, wearing fine linen, pure and white, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God on the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has a name inscribed, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and with a loud voice he called to all the birds that fly in mid-heaven, Come, gather for the great supper of God, to eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of the mighty, the flesh of horses and their riders, flesh of all, both free and slave, both small and great. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth with their armies gathered to make war against the rider on the horse and against his army. And the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who had performed in its presence the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped its image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulphur, and the rest were killed by the sword of the rider on the horse, the sword that came from his mouth all the birds were gorged with their flesh. Hmm. Well, let's turn to our prayers of intercession. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for John's great vision of the end times. And Lord, we do pray for our church during this season of Advent as we long and wait for your coming. We prepare ourselves to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago and at the same time we look ahead to that great and glorious day when Jesus will come again to judge the whole of creation and restore to perfection all that is. So, Lord, help us to watch and wait. Help us to be building your kingdom here upon earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for our churches here in our benefice of Staple Grove and Norton Fitzwarren, for the communities of faith that we are, you would bind us together in unity and common purpose as we seek to serve the communities around us. Lord, we thank you for our PCCs, for their willingness to begin a new worship pattern in the new year. And Lord, we do pray that you would work through all the preparations and plans that need to take place 
your Holy Spirit will be upon us as you lead us into a new pattern. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we're asked today to pray for all who lead small groups during Advent. Lord, we thank you for our house groups and small groups within the Benefice, the group at Norton, led by a number of different people, facilitated by Rosemary, for the group led by Alison and hosted by Anne, for the group that I lead, hosted by Jim and Moira. Lord, we pray that you would watch over us now as we move into Advent and we approach the Advent course beginning on Wednesday. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will be with us during those times, that we may use those sessions to prepare ourselves for the coming of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring before you those individuals known to us who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. Praying particularly at the moment for Lynn and Pete as they care for Lynn's uh, mother and father in particular. And for those we know who are in hospital or otherwise suffering, for Neville, for Joyce, for Peter, for Derek, for Barbara. And Lord, we bring before you too those who have died recently. We pray for the friends and families of Jack at Maven, of Betty Partridge and of Wendy Woodward. And Lord, we pray that you would pour out your grace and mercy upon all of these people. And Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for the day that lies ahead of us today, the plans and intentions that we have, and more importantly, that you have for us, in the knowledge that your ways are higher than our ways and your thoughts deeper than our thoughts. So we ask simply that you would use us today as instruments of your love. The Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and for ever amen and awaiting his coming in glory as our saviour taught us so we pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me, uh, whether it's live or on catch up. I hope you have a really good day and um, catch you next time. Take care.